Justin Jefferson was one of the one of the worst, one of the most egregious underperformers here for week 17. Anytime a receiver gets uh shut down like this, you know, uh uh-huh. there there's a lot of factors at play here. And we've seen teams do this with Justin Jefferson before. Um, where you get the cornerback up there and you just you just press the shit out of him. The Vikings are pretty good about getting um you know, Justin Jefferson, not into the Cooper cup role, but into like advantageous positions. And when they did that for the Packers would have Jair Alexander, like play outside leverage, play press coverage with outside leverage uh, on Jefferson. But then they'd have the safety, like kind of bracketing him to, and playing the inside leverage there. So if he's got an inbreaker, the safety cuts it off. If he, you know, takes to the outside, Jair is on a pretty good uh, position there. You can't leave a game where you have this big of a deficit and throw to your best player five times. Like that's also on the coaching staff to like, Get Jefferson a screen, get him a, like when the times when they do play off coverage, get him a quick slant, a drag route, something like that, just to get these guys into rhythm. Can I give you some coverage statistics in this ball game? They went cover two more than I think they've ever gone cover two at any point in the season. It's funny when some of these cornerbacks, you know, get all rah, rah and hyped up and everything. And then you look at the numbers and it's like, oh, they played zone coverage 86% of the time. It's like, how many, Jair, how many times were you manned up with, with Justin Jefferson, dude? 